Good morning, everyone. PEI Pen Guy here, and I'm doing something a little different than usual. Uh, I'm about to open up a pen that I actually don't know very much about. Um, and I have to thank uh, the bookmark in Charlottetown uh, for kindly loaning me this to look at. So it's not my pen, and, and they're not paying me to do this, but, you know, I... Um, I was commenting on this pen, I believe, and so they allowed me to borrow it for the morning and to make a video about it. And um, I, well, thank you very much. I appreciate it deeply. And uh, so I won't be doing a, a writing sample of this pen uh, because it's not my pen, but I'm going to look at it with you. And uh, it's a Visconti. It comes in this, uh, and... Uh, it's a Visconti, and it's called the Novel Reader Set, and it's uh, the Impressionist Collection. The, no the Impressionist Collection, the Novel Reader Set. Other than that, I'm not too sure what I'm going to be looking at here. <laughs> so it comes in a box with a cardboard sleeve over it, the Visconti logo, and the name Visconti on it. Uh, that's pretty much all there is. And just slide the sleeve off, and there's this no, oh, this very attractive box, and that looks like in a, a painting by Van Gogh or Van Gogh. However, how, however we pronounce it, and I'm not too familiar with exactly with the name of this painting, but it's rather attractive. At least I'm assuming that's Van Gogh. It sure, looks like him. Uh, so the lid. Oh, the lid just slides off. It's not hinged or anything like that. And inside you find uh, a presentation box. Rather attractive one, I have to say. Comes with the bottle of ink, the pen, and a card. I don't know what the card says. So Visconti, the novel reader, Vincent van Gogh, oil on canvas, 1988. Oh, sorry, 1888, no. So, not 1988. So, he died in 1891, I believe. Uh, so, it's just from three years before he passed away. So, you get this very attractive pen. I have to be honest, uh, I don't have a Visconti pen. I've tried a few. Um, some I've liked a lot and some I haven't been too fond of. But this is a very attractive looking pen. Um, comes with a bottle of ink, Visconti ink. I've not tried Visconti inks. 30 milliliters, that's a nice size. It looks like a beautiful green by the look of it. I'm not going to swatch that or anything like that. But I really should try to get some Visconti inks just to see what they're like. Comes in a rather attractive little square bottle. A little bit of texture on the bottle for grip, so it's not going to... That would be a hard bottle to tip over. It's just nicely designed. It's square, has a plastic cap, Visconti logo on it. All in all, very nice bottle. And then you have the pen. And the pen just slides out. Now, I haven't actually done much research on this. So it looks like a resin. Um, could be celluloid. I'll have to look it up to see what precisely it's made of. It's a nice weight to it. Um, the It has the traditional Visconti bridge uh, clip, inspired by a bridge in Florence. Uh, there is a gold-plated, I'm assuming, cap band here, and it says Van Gogh, or Van Gogh. And on the top, of course, is the logo, this on the finial here, Visconti. It sort of wraps around the back. And I'm going to say that there's a little number there. I can't quite make it out. And I'll have to figure that out. Little uh, Thing I'm going to admit to here, I'm shooting on my cell phone, and when I, <laughs> whenever I see something like a label that I can't read, I take a photo with my cell phone and I zoom in. So I can't do that today. That's how bad my eyes are getting, or they're not that bad. So this is really kind, quite a, 
an attractive material and it's faceted there's like it's it, when you run, roll it across your finger you can feel the the facets of the of the cap and out of the barrel and that's that feels really nice i like that a lot i it does feel a bit like celluloid uh, but i'll have to look that up I'll, I'll put it in the description what it's made of i'm kind of flying blind here it has that nice little uh, magnetic feel to the to the um, pull off cap and it posts fairly well it has a gold grip section here which is quite attractive and it's not what i would call back heavy even though there's a lot of uh metal on the cap it doesn't feel back heavy it's, it's not a light pen by any means and that's an and i would say personally that even though that's a metal uh, a gold plated metal uh, grip section it doesn't feel like you're going to be slipping around too much on that um it has what i'm assuming to be a gold plated nib um it says van gogh and visconti and it's a fine i can make that out it looks like a standard number six nib but i'll, ch I'll check that against another pen here and let's just screw that apart take a look inside see what it comes with oh it comes with a converter that's <laughs> i'm going to be honest i love what a pen especially an expensive pen comes with a converter uh and that does so that's great i didn't see it in the box and i was wondering so i just wanted to take a peek inside and that's very nice then I'm just going to set that there and i'm going to get another pen to compare it to of course and that oh that has a nice clip you can feel the you can feel the magnetic pull uh on that and it's quite satisfying <laughs> so there is a um size comparison this is a custom uh pilot custom 74 as compared to the novel reader van gogh visconti the in some ways i would say the pens are very similar in size the, the rounded ends of the, the custom 74 make it a little longer but size wise i i would go ahead and just say they're essentially the same size very nice um you know the, one thing i do like about the viscontis is their use of materials like uh, that 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 clip you you know it's a visconti when you see it and also the material they use it's it's they they use different finishes different colors i know um <laughs> they use an, even use you know lava uh, for their homo sapiens and things like that so they're very bold in that aspect but uh yeah so all in all this is a very attractive pen i'm not going to do a writing sample sadly uh but looking at it there's a nice bit of tipping on that pen even though it says it's fine it seems to be fine i have to look at that to my eye it says fine and you know uh japanese fines versus european fines are quite different animals um looking at it i would say it, it probably writes more like a japanese i would say this would write more like a japanese medium by the look of it because it there's a fair amount of tipping and it uh actually it's quite a bit of nice tipping on that it feels very smooth when i slide my finger over it so yeah i'm just going to run it across the page just to see right Yeah, I would say that would write smooth. Yeah. Sometimes with different pens, you will have to tinker with it and get it, get it, you know, do a little smoothing on your own. But, you know, I'd say that feels smooth. It feels nice. It has nice tipping on it. So there you have it. Hmm. And I like it. It looks nice. I've not yet gotten into 
purchasing a Visconti. Maybe someday down the road I'll get one. I have all kinds of pens I want to get. Um, but I quite like their use of materials. Um, and yeah, like I say, they're, it's an interesting Italian company. So anyway, I hope you liked the video. I'll do a little bit more close-up photography on the nib um, and so on and so on. So anyway, thank you to Dan and the, 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 the crew at the bookmark. Um, it's always a pleasure to go into the store. Uh, thank you for loaning me this pen to look at and to show it to you. And I hope you liked the video. And if, if uh, you'd like to see more pens like this, let me know. Um, maybe we'll, we can do some other things too. Uh, I'll, be also, I'll, I'll also be showing, of course, pens from my own collection and things like that. So we do other things too, stationery and ink. So anyway, I hope you have a great day. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new around here, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. And I'm going to put links to the Bookmarks website just so you can take a look at what they carry and get to know them a bit more. They're, it's You know, I, I live in a, a small town, but I'm, it's a, kind of a spoiled small town because there's so many great things here. We have an excellent bookstore and art galleries and libraries. Oh, yeah. anyway. So anyway, I hope you have a great day, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.